Do you ever see people effortlessly making calls or sending texts or pulling up driving directions on their iPhone and wonder how they do it? Well, if you're a senior citizen or new to the iPhone and you'd like to know how this is done, then this video is for you. This is part two in my iPhone for Senior series but you don't have to be a senior citizen to find this video helpful. I'm creating these tutorials where each video stands on its own, but when viewed as a series, they build a solid foundation on how to use your iPhone. A link to the previous video containing five tips on setting up your iPhone is in the description below. I know I'm dating myself when I say this, but in the old days, you had a little black book with all your friends' phone numbers and addresses. And today, I'm going to show you how the Contacts app on the iPhone replaces that little black book and how Contacts, once you set them up, can be used by other applications on your iPhone to make life easier. And bonus, once you add your Contacts on the iPhone, they're automatically added to your iPad, you know, if you have an iPad. Here we go. Today's five tips include adding a Contact, searching for Contacts, remembering birthdays, using contacts for phone calls and texting, and using contacts with a Maps app. Let's get started. So adding a contact is really not that hard. All you have to do is find the contacts icon, contacts app, tap on it, tap on the upper right, in the upper right corner, the plus sign, and then you add your name your contact name. In this case, I'll add John Hancock. And as you add that, you can add a phone. And in this case, I'm gonna call it his mobile phone. But if you tap on that, you can call it an iPhone, or you can add multiple numbers for that matter. But you can identify that phone number in a variety of different ways. But we'll call this the mobile phone. And we'll put his phone number in. And then you can go down and you can add an address of where they live. And you can also add a birthday if you want. We'll add January 22nd, 2021. And then you can click done and that's how you add a contact. So as time goes by, you'll continue to add contacts to your contact list on your iPhone and you'll get a pretty substantial list. And if you're like me, you have lots and lots of, lots and lots of names that are in here. And maybe you wanna find someone, you don't really know um, where they are in here. So to do that, you simply go into the search bar Type in the name of who you're looking for, and there you'll see it. And there you can pull them up. It's really that simple. So when you add your contacts into your contacts list using that app, you also put their birthdays in there. And it's an easy way to keep track of whose birthday it is. So using the built-in Apple Calendar, you can tap on that, and here you'll see John Hancock's birthday is today, Friday, January 22nd. That's the time that I'm filming this video. But all of your birthdays are there and you can find them. I've got my brother-in-law's birthday coming up soon too. So that's an easy way to keep track of birthdays, all using the calendar and because you kept them in your contact list. Okay, so you've now added a few dozen contacts into your contact list and you wanna use the phone. You can simply tap on the phone icon and you typically land here. You wanna make a call to someone that you've put in your contacts list. You can simply tap the contacts and you can scroll through until you find who you wanna call and you just tap on their name and there it is. And you can tap on their phone number and make a call that easy. You can also search for it too. So if we type in Hancock, we get John Hancock, and there's his phone number. So you're not having to go back and forth and type in the phone number on the keypad. You can just tap the number and it'll make the call. 
So once you have a number of people registered in your contacts app, you can access them um, through messages too. So you don't really have to, to type in anything. You can just go to messages, you can tap on the new message icon, and let's say you can't remember who you want to send it to, but you know their name is John Hancock. So you can just begin typing John, and right there is John Hancock, and you can pull up his name immediately and begin typing out a message. And that's how you can use contacts in your messages app. It's really that simple. So now you've got a number of contacts logged up in your contacts app and you want to go visit one of them. The contacts app actually integrates with the maps app. So if you want to figure out how to get to your friend's house, you simply tap on contacts find the contact that you want to visit, in this case we'll make it me, and down here you can click on the address and it'll give you directions on how to get there that quick. And that's how Contacts interacts with the Maps app. Incredibly handy. So I know it can take a little bit of time to set up your iPhone, but adding your contacts into your Contacts app will really help you in a whole variety of different ways from mapping to texting to phone calls to just keeping track of who your friends are. It's a great place to start. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.